All right, so thank you for joining us on another short video of Delaware Pest Management. Today's August 10th, and we have here a peach that I picked from my home garden. It doesn't look too bad. Uh, we've got one kind of buggy spot right there, but the rest of it looks fine. And, and if you pick this off of your tree, you'd want to bite into it. What I want to show you today, though, is the most damaging pest of peaches in our area. And there's a great article about their biology, which I will uh, put a link to in this video. Our most damaging pest is a small beetle called the plum curculio. It overwinters as an adult. It comes into tree fruit in the early spring. Yeah, there we go. And it lays eggs in the fruit. Those fruits usually fall off. It leaves a very characteristic uh, crescent-shaped oval position scar. And then there's a sneaky devil of a summer generation, which is what this is here. So this is a beetle that came out probably about a month ago and laid eggs in the fruit. And here we have our plum curculio larva. It's a weevil larva, it's got a head capsule, but no legs. And this peach isn't too bad. Uh, if you were diehard on making peach pie out of this, you could cut all this stuff out. And it would taste pretty good. Mmm, yeah, that's good stuff. This here's another peach. Uh, you can see the sapping. Uh, this is probably from either stink bugs or where Plum Cuculio laid eggs. The summer generation tends not to make the characteristic C-shaped scar, or at least it's not very obvious. This peach tree that I got this from also has bacterial blight, which can lead to sapping. All of those make the peach more susceptible to brown rot. So let's cut this one open. There's a cuculio larva right there. There's our rotting peach. It's very sad. These things are very difficult to control in the home garden. You gotta spray the tree pretty regularly with some uh, pretty high powered insecticides. If you don't do it, they can take the entire crop. This third peach uh, I knew it was infested because we had a lot of sapping here. Uh, this, this is a little patch of brown rot starting up. We've got some exit holes on the side. Some parts of the peach just feel squishy. Let's open this up. And you can see we've got uh, all the rot. They tend to go straight for the, the pit of the peach or the stone and feed around it, which just really opens things up for rot. Oh, there's a, there's a cuculio larva right there. See that? The beetle itself is uh, very small. It likes to hide and can be very difficult to scout for. So now the only thing that this peach is probably good for is feeding our outreach volunteers when we talk to school kids. Come here, guys. And have a peach. Thank you for joining us.